morning and welcome back to part 16 of our VPC playlist. So in today's video, we are going to learn that what is traffic mirroring. So let's start. So now let's talk about traffic mirroring. So it is one more additional security feature in our AWS, which is provided by AWS. So traffic mirroring actually allows us to capture and inspect network traffic in our VPC. So let's say we are having a VPC and we want to capture the traffic and we want to inspect the traffic. So we can do that using the traffic monitoring. You can route the traffic to security appliances that you manage. So in traffic mirroring, we have to define two things. First is the source and second is the target. Source means from where you want to capture the data, means from which ENI you want to capture the data. And target is from where you want to analyze the data. So at this point, we can also give the target as a network load balancer. So we, we will capture the traffic from the ENI and we will analyze that traffic in the network load balancer. So the traffic or we can say it captures all packets or we can capture the packets of our interest. So we can also filter out the packets that if we if we want some, some traffic only then we can filter it out and we can uh, get the traffic of our interest. We can capture the packets of our interest. Source and target can be in same VPC means source and the target should be created in our same VPC and if they are not created in the same VPC then the peering should be enabled then only traffic mirroring will work and the use cases of traffic mirroring are we can do traffic mirroring on content inspe inspection then threat monitoring for threat monitoring and lastly for troubleshooting so in short if you want to capture some traffic data and, and we want to analyze or inspect that then we can use traffic mirroring now let's take an example of it so now let's see the working of the traffic mirroring. Let's see that how actually the traffic mirroring works. So first of all, here we are having a source A, which is an instance. And as we have an instance, we are having a inbound and outbound traffic associated with it. So we are going to capture this traffic and we are going to analyze it. So this is the source where we are going to capture the traffic. And of course, we have to have a target here so we are going to analyze this traffic data on the network load balancer and here we are of course having a auto scaling group and we are having three instances associated with it we have three instances connected to the network load balancer and as i told for traffic mirroring we have to have the source and the target part so this is the source say where we are going to capture the data from and we are going to send that data to the network load balancer and we are going to analyze that data in the network load balancer so here we are going to create a connection of the traffic mirroring and we are going to analyze the data right so the traffic mirroring will be performed and the data packets from the instance traffic will be captured and it will be sent to the network load balancer and the data will be analyzed here so as i told that we can also filter out the data we can just keep the data of our use so we can also capture the data packets of our interest only it's not necessary that we should capture all the data packets we can also capture the data packets of our interest and we can also have the many different instance and we can capture the inbound and outbound traffic or one or of one or more instance and we can analyze it through the traffic mirroring in the network load balancer right so here we have two different instances we have different inbound traffic of both the instances and we are performing the traffic mirroring on the net through the network load balancer right so we are going to analyze the data here. So this is how actually the traffic mirroring works and it provides additional security. So that's it for traffic mirroring. Meeting you in the next video.